Today we're going to talk about what to do when you get bad reviews. My name is Tineke Rense from Powerful Business Women. I help self-employed business women building a business. Now about reviews, bad reviews. There's two things here. There's bad reviews of people who try to somehow blackmail you because they didn't get something they wanted, which was not relevant. And then you should know, was it their miss expectation or was it miscommunication from your side? So there's always expectation management with your clients, which is very important. When on either side something goes wrong, a bad review is just around the corner, hiding, waiting for you. The other thing is, is it a review because it's true? It's honest feedback. Um, so how do you how do you handle this? How do you cope? How do you cope with? Uh, so first of all, there's the there's the mental aspect of it. It's like oh, we do our best and we feel threatened. We don't want to have bad reviews because it's affecting our business. Well, you know, a business that only has good reviews, people suspect that. So if you have a couple, you're being real. It's not always perfect. So don't worry too much about that. If you get a lot, well, then there's definitely something going on and, and you have to retrospect. You have to look inside and in your business and see what's going on. So there's the emotional effect. Um, just it's feedback. It's not about you. It's about the service or the product. Okay, so that's important. Don't get personally involved. Don't go to bed not sleeping because you had a bad review. How to handle reviews, bad reviews? Always respond. Always see that you've read it. Always acknowledge. Always repeat. I'm so sorry to see or hear that you... Na 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 na. And then you, you could explain. Um, don't apologize. Don't attack. Well, apologize when, when they're right. Yeah? Um, definitely don't start to defend because it, or attack. Because that's not the energy where you show that you take them seriously. Take everybody seriously. Even if you know they're trying to blackmail you. And if you know they're trying to get a freebie or, or something. Always be serious, yeah? No emotions involved, no attacking. Then explain, well, what you will do about it. Explain the circumstance. Explain this was a one time off and this was because such and such. Um, and you're right, I want to offer you something, na 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 na. Or this is what we have done to prevent that this is going to happen again and we're really sorry for you. Now what's important for you is what can you learn from feedback? Because often they say a person, a, a, a client, a customer who gives feedback is involved. They want things to go better. They want to be treated differently. So, and that's how the honest feedback, you, sh you should use it that way. See what can you change in your business? How can you prevent this from happening again? Do you need to talk to someone in your business? Do you need to talk to uh, someone who um, was late with shipment or um, whatever? Make sure this does not happen again. Go through your whole process, the whole chain of people and actions that are taken that eventually led up to the mistake. Or maybe you didn't perceive it as a mistake, but your customers don't want it that way. Go through the whole chain of events. Who's responsible for what? And if it's only you, what are you doing in every step of the process and see where can you improve? Where can you 
add something that this will not happen again. Maybe you need to add something in your calendar. Maybe you need to uh, put a card inside. Maybe there can be many, many things to prevent that review from coming back and back and back. Well, I remember at some point when I, I, I bought a pair of skates, uh, the reviews showed constantly uh, that you should buy them um, one or two size bigger or smaller, I can't remember. Um, so at some point in the product description, you could see, and that's what I read, you could see, well, uh, reviews show that, we need, that, you, that it's better to buy it one or two sizes smaller or bigger. And that's what I did. And I didn't have to return. Okay, so that's how you handle feedback. I hope you've learned something. <clears throat> now, this is just one tiny, tiny thing that you will come across in your business. And there's, like, like you know, if you're serious in business, there's hundreds of tasks that you need to manage. Can you do them all? Do you love them all? Are you perfect at all of those tasks? Because that's what running a business is about, being a leader, and, and so much more. Now, I help you and women who run a business and who want to grow to the next level, but they're too busy at the moment, they know there's more to it, and they just are insecure about the next steps. So why don't, if that's you, why don't you schedule a call with me? It's just a 15-minute call. In the 15 minutes, we will just have a small, small talk. You know, I'll ask you some questions about you, about your business, so I know if I can even help you at all, because I can't help everybody. And then we'll take it from there. Then we see if we want to continue the conversation. Yeah, the link is in the description, so you can find it, click on it, and I'm looking forward to talk to you. If we are not talking to, you, to each other, watch out for the video next week, where I will be training you on yet another topic how to grow from self-employed to building a business. Bye-bye.